Michael, can't wait for a nap, but right now we do want to talk about a game-changing innovation that is making sports more inclusive. GMA contributor Jess Sims has our story. Good morning, Jess. One of the most exciting things about sports is that if given a chance to play, anyone can win. This segment is sponsored by AT&T, which is helping a group of young athletes compete on a level playing field. When the Gallaudet Bison take the field this weekend, their quarterback will be wearing this first-of-its-kind helmet. I'm trying to see, like, how it will, like, benefit us as the people in the game. So what makes this helmet so special? This tiny screen inside allows coach Chuck Goldstein to communicate play calls with his quarterback from the sideline using a tablet. It's simple. Make the play call from there, touch it, goes right to the quarterback. Quarterback receives it, he sees it live, he communicates with the team. Just realizing, like, is this for real? Like, can you look around and be able to see the plays inside of the helmet? I mean, that's just awesome technology. Created by our sponsor, AT&T, GMA was there when the team debuted the new helmet during practice. Left, 24, 24, ready? AT&T is and has been for some time a staple of college athletics. Always looking for ways our expertise on connectivity can advance the game for coaches, the players, and the fans. That is the beauty of a 5G wireless network. There is only no delay for the player to execute that play instantaneously. Gallaudet University is the oldest school for the deaf in the country, and this won't be the first innovation introduced to the game by its athletes. And then we're gonna go kick off. The huddle, now a staple in football at every level, was invented at Gallaudet in 1894 to stop opposing teams from stealing play calls. Ready now, ready. This new technology is another tool for junior quarterback Brandon Washington, who didn't grow up with sign language. Football, like, really helped me learn ASL because you were playing on a deaf team and on the hearing team, and that's how we communicate. First-year quarterback Trevin Adams sees potential for technology like this to help him now and in the future. So I'm thinking about even the possibilities for me being able to coach at the collegiate level for any institution. You know, not just at the university, but it could be anywhere. For a sport where most of the communication is traditionally done by sound, the ultimate goal is to level the playing field for all athletes. By closing that gap with players who are hard of hearing or deaf, then the whole sport itself becomes more inclusive. We don't have a level playing field, ever. If the game is on the line, this technology can change the game and we will win. I cannot wait to see how they do this season. To learn more about the technology, visit GMA's Instagram. And join me this Saturday where I'll be live with the helmet on college game day beginning at 9 a.m. Eastern on ESPN. Jess, thank you so much. And coming up on Good Morning America.